Ooh, how do I know it's winter? Well, my neck requires a warm and stylish scarf, such as this one, in the winter. Wow, see, that means me too in French. Hey. Oh, hello, Gilles the Giraffe. Uh, bonjour, Olivia the Ostrich. I like your choice of neckwear. It is, how we say, très chic. Oh, yes, I approve of yours as well. And how do you know it's winter, kid? <clears throat> you know how I know? Because I get sick for three weeks every winter. Three miserable weeks. But that's just me. Hopefully you celebrate winter in much more pleasant ways. Winter is here. Every summer is made up of four seasons. Spring, summer, fall, winter. My favorite, personally, is the summer part with little bits of spring and fall thrown in. As fall comes to an end, winter arrives. The air outside may feel brrrr, cold. Animals may have to dig under the snow for food. People may avoid the chilly weather by staying indoors, that's me, and drinking hot chocolate. Not a bad way to spend the cold, at least we have hot chocolate for consolation. Each year, winter starts on either December 21st or December 22nd. The first day of winter is marked on the calendar. So you'll have to see what day does winter officially start this year. And this fox, this lovely foxy fox is asking, uh, what's the winter weather where you live? Well, it does depend. Winter is not snowy for everyone. The shortest day. What, we're talking about the cold. But listen to this part. As winter nears, each day brings more hours of darkness than light. It may even be dark when kids get out of school in the afternoon, depending on where you live. Totally true story. The first day of winter is the shortest day of the year. This means there are fewer hours of daylight than on any other day of the year. Which is why, yes, Gilles, we have to make the most of life. Yes, this is true. Yes, because daylight is burning, as they say. That is true. Daylight is burning. In winter, on the same day each week, draw a clock that shows what time it got dark. How much later does the sun set each week? Ah, that's an interesting way of keeping track. Now, once winter arrives and the shortest day has passed, the number of hours of daylight actually start to increase again. So if we're on the approaching side of winter, right before December, 21st or 22nd and we're on our way there the days keep getting shorter and shorter and the day that winter starts is officially the shortest day of the year but then after that they get the, the the days get a tiny bit longer daylight gets a little bit longer yeah isn't that interesting so after winter actually hits we can actually look forward to a little bit more sun snowflakes and gloves longer hours of darkness and shorter hours of daylight are not the only clues that it's winter oh no the weather is colder in winter than at any other time of the year. In many places, it snows when it's too cold to go outside without a coat, a hat, and gloves, like so. Winter is here. Now, it tells, tells us here, place a thermometer outside. So, ask your mom and dad for a thermometer. Check the temperature at the same time every morning for a week. Write it down. Does the temperature change? Or stay the same and you can create your own weather chart and you can probably use that in a book report of some kind for science class or math class sometimes winter weather brings huge blizzards like this it's like almost a whiteout here a blizzard is a very big snowstorm with lots of wind which makes it feel even colder Brrr. a winter rest for plants when you can't see flowers or green leaves outside it's another clue winter's here in winter it is too cold for most plants to grow i don't blame them maybe i'm part plant maybe that's a problem anyway their leaves and flowers die but the roots stay alive underground and when the weather warms up again in the spring bloop, the plants respring and they grow again in winter it suggests we go outside and look at the trees around you how are they different from the way they looked in the summer or fall you might even want to take a picture and chart a spring you know, summer, winter, fall of the same tree and see how it's modified and changed over the seasons. Again, that could work out for a book report in the future. Now over here, it shows us the roots. Those are the ones that stay underground and stay alive, right? Those don't die even in the cold. There's the bulb and there's the shoot. Below the ground, the flower bulbs await for spring. When the weather, when the weather warms up, they will send shoots, shoots 
above the ground and soon the flowers will return. Bare branches. By winter, many trees have lost all their leaves and their branches are bare. Oh, how embarrassing. The trees look as if they have died, but no, they are still alive. The trees are just resting until they can begin growing again in the spring. So here's an example, a tree in the fall. It's the colors are changing. You can see it's becoming more yellow. Here's a tree in the winter, a bare, bare bones, naked tree, naked tree. Oh, raccoon! Raccoons often make their homes inside trees. A hole inside a tree is a good place to stay warm in the winter. Good idea. Some branches, some trees have bare branches in winter. What do you notice about other trees? Oh, you'll notice some trees actually do keep their foliage throughout the year, but there's special kinds of trees that can do that. Like, for example, Christmas trees. Staying green. Some trees stay green all winter. Ha, 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 staying alive, staying alive. They are called evergreen trees. These trees have tiny little green needles on their branches. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, never mind. I'm going to stop touching those. Unlike trees that lose all their leaves in the fall and get naked, an evergreen tree does not stop, does not drop all its needles at the same time. Evergreen. See, that gives you a clue as to why it's named evergreen. It's forever green or almost all the time green. It drops some needles and grows new ones all year round. And that's why it's evergreen. And here is an evergreen forest. Oh, sure. It looks white, but that's just because it is dusted with white sugar. What? It's not sugar. Powdered sugar? No. Snow. Snow. See you in the spring. When the weather cools down in the fall, some animals go to sleep for the whole winter. Your storyteller would like to be one of those as she sniffs her nose. A groundhog. Hey, groundhog. I wonder if his name is Phil. A groundhog spends winter asleep in its cozy underground home. A grizzly bear. Ooh, don't wake him up. Don't wake him up. He digs himself a place to sleep called a den. Not like your family den with a TV or maybe in the basement. Different, different kind of den. These animals do not wake up until the spring. Ooh, look at this bullfrog. The bullfrog spends the winter resting by burying themselves in mud to stay warm. Isn't it amazing how animals have evolved to survive during the winter since, you know, they typically don't, you know, live inside houses with heating. In winter, there's not much food around for those hungry birds. So it's not easy to find those seeds or these insects that they eat the rest of the year. So many people actually help the birds by hanging up chirp, 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 bird feeders or squirrel feeders outside their homes. And the birds or the squirrels visit the feeders to fill up on seeds and nuts. Uh, and in winter, watch a bird feeder for 10 minutes and count the number of birds that visit. Another wintertime experiment. <gasps> Do you know what this is? Oh. It's a cardinal. It, it's, it's so easy to spot because it's so brilliant red that it stands out, especially in the winter when there's no other colors around. And this is actually a female cardinal, but the female cardinal is brown. It's the male that's all colorful and red. Winter in a garden. In winter, snow sometimes covers the ground. People have to shovel the snow off of their driveways. Kids play in the snow, make snowmen. Oh, and then there are the icicles that often hang from the branches of trees or right above your door where they look like they're going to fall and kill you. Or maybe not, but I think they are. Uh, let's see. Gardens are hidden under this blanket of snow. Winter is the season when plants rest also, not unlike our frogs and groundhogs until the spring arrives. Ooh, here's another experiment. See if you can spot animal footprints in the snow or mud. What kind of animals do you think made them? This one, I think, hmm, raccoon footprint. Now winter lasts officially until March 20th or 21st. And then March 20th or 21st, depending on the year, is when spring officially springs upon us. Science lab. Oh, science lab? Like, blah, 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 blah. we're making, we're mixing things, doing interesting things blah, 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 in the lab. When you're in your backyard, on the playground at school, or in the park, go on a winter treasure hunt. See how many of the things on the winter treasure hunt list you can see, smell, hear, touch, or collect. If it's not winter where you live, then draw a picture of winter perhaps somewhere else. Include as many things from the list as you can. Then when winter comes to where you live, go outside and try to find the things you put in your drawing. So what do they suggest here for our winter treasure hunt? Uh, oh, okay. Things to see. A tree with bare branches. That's pretty easy. 
a tree with needles. Oh, like those, ow, 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 ouch, ouch. Oh, I keep touching that Christmas tree evergreen. A bird's footprint in the snow. Well, that's gonna be more challenging. A bird eating at a bird feeder. You gotta put up a bird feeder to get that. Berries, oh, berries, that's pretty. They do grow in the winter. Uh, something frozen in ice, a snowman. And now here are things to smell. A cold morning. Does a cold morning have its own smell? I think so. An evergreen tree, oh, those do smell nice. Things to hear, <sighs> the wind howling. <sighs> that special sound of snow falling from a tree branch. Things you can touch, the bark of an evergreen tree. Soft new snow, oh, soft new snow. It feels nice for about 10 seconds and then your hands start to freeze. Ow, 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 ow. Things to collect, a pine cone. Ooh, I have a collection of these. An icicle, a twig from an evergreen tree. And then here are the sciency words, but they're not hard at all, y'all. Okay, we got bulbs. That's the underground part of the plant. And it says here, that's the food for the plant is stored in the bulb. So when it warms up, bloop, what comes out? Yeah, the shoot. The shoot is a part of the new plant that first appears above ground. And then back over here to the den. Remember this den without the TV, but with a bear in it? A den is where a wild animal can rest and hide from the enemies and even have babies. Icicles, long, thin spikes of ice that form from dripping water on wintry days. Sure, they look cute, but for some of us, they look dangerous. Roots, the long, thin underground part of plants that take food and water from the soil. And that is how you know it's winter. Uh, 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 Storyteller. Oh, yes, Gilles de Giraffe. I would like to say that I also enjoy a cup of hot cocoa with a giant, uh, how you call, marshmallow for the winter. Yes. Oh, I'm so glad that, the, that you have traditions also. Oui, oui. Olivia. Uh, yes, yes, Gilles. Do you have any traditions for the winter? Well, besides putting on fashionable scarves like you do, oui, oui, which is an excellent tradition. Uh, yes, I also love to drink hot tea at four o'clock in the afternoon, which, frankly, by wintertime, oui, is quite dark. Ah, oh, yes, the darkness. I also have a special lamp where I like to sit under the lat because uh, I am a giraffe of the lat. Oh. You know, I could see that about him. Well, kid, uh, well, how do you know it's winter? Besides, the, the storyteller's method of getting terribly sick. Oh, I know, I know, Olivia. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll get over it one of these days. Gosh, I hope so. What week are you on now of being sick? Um, <clears throat> it's week number three, but you know who's counting? <laughs> you are. I am. Well, kid, uh, have a great winter and... Uh, wear a scarf. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, a fashionable one, preferably. Yes, and one to keep you not sick. Uh, agreed. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time! Olivia, story time! <laughs>